Is this here the ultimate camper van? This is the all new VW T7 California and it will be a digitalized one because electronically you can put this roof up right here. You can do it from an iPad or from your personal phone and we'll take you on a full tour. Here was Thomas and Fuel in 4K, full screen, full length. Let's go. Wheels here, 19 inch, the biggest ones that are available. And we have the typical California dual tone scheme. Of course, reminding of past models, California Batch here too. This is really nice. And then to the side, we also have an electric door. And the special thing now is you have two sliding doors on both sides and one sliding door. That's pretty cool. You can go through soon more deals to the kitchen. And here with my iPad, I can also have more functions. For example, the light settings. You can check it out here. I can activate, deactivate the light and I can have a device in my hand or it's also right there. This is like the stationary iPad and this could be maybe another iPad or your personal smartphone and you can even change the color here of the ambient lighting. Look at that. That is a fancy function. Probably also one of my favorite functions. We'll soon show you more deals to the interior there. Let's finish the exterior. Here at the rear of course the T7 has these more modern tail lamps and then a normal hatch and we have more very cool functions here. First of all, this is here, another shelf that was used in the T3 California, actually. This will be the bed. We'll soon also switch that around. And here my favorite feature is, this would be the water tank. And then here I can pull out the shower and I can actually attach it here on the top part like this. Well, for me, I would need to shower like this then probably, um, but it's still a shower, you know. Uh, so <laughs> maybe for me, the hatch would need to be a little bit higher and I can easily store it once again. Talking about storage here, this is for your personal belongings, everything you need. It's actually bigger than you think, but of course, when you go camping with this one, at some point you have to make some compromises. So here you will have two outside sides, the one with the sun blind you've seen and on also this one here with the marquee or sun blind. Uh, this one here, by the way, goes out with a manual one. So here you would attach the stick to manually fold it out, actually. It's also lock lockable. And the cool thing is that for the first time, you can not only use the camping, this, by the way, it's real wood here. You can also use it on the inside of the vehicle. These chairs you can also store on the rear. I can soon show you that as well. For the first time, you can use the kitchen from the outside because here it's also retractable. You can pull it out. It's actually very nice. And underneath here, these are these you know, glass layers. You have this gas cooker. You can slide this one over for the sink, like this. Or you can also then put that back again or slide this one around. Use it as a, you know, like maybe for cutting or something. And then underneath here, this is also a pretty tricky solution. Pretty cool. Here, these, these ones here, you know, you can pull them to the inside or to the outside. Then it's like, you know, for all the things, for the cutlery and so on. Like this. Second one for some cups and stuff. For the coffee. And then here the lower one, this one is the electric grill. Can also be put here, you know, on, on, some, on some stands. Like this, you can pull them out like this. So different cooking possibilities, two USB-C chargers. And here you can also put out a small ambient light. Uh, there we go. You can maybe put them also outside on the table and so on. So they thought about individual nice solutions. Then here, this one is an additional small table like this. Underneath, you have this stand here to pull it out. It's Thomas working live here uh, there we go then like this once again real wood pretty cool I hope this will also make it to the final model and you can also get to the fridge from the outside I think this is a very clever situation because you want to have this outside living space basically and then you can extend everything to the outside area even with soft clothes pretty nice so when you are sitting here like hey give me some more beer then you can directly reach over to the fridge from here <laughs> The space for the chairs here, there it is. So they would be coming right in here. Oh, this is a nice pet rail, right? 
<laughs> so and you can also store that right here. This is another storage shelf that you can fold in and out. Yeah, we don't need to squeeze the way a little bit. Then we have here more storage for all the kitchen equipment. Of course, you can um, also enclose it. These seats here, as I said, individual seats. That means on this rail here, you can slide them forward and backward, depending on the position here. You can also put a table on the inside, maybe on the rainy day or something. And I think the main advantage is really that they are, of course, lighter when they're individually. With the predecessor, we had the through bench. It's just so heavy to pull it actually in and out. On the other side, you can see you now can slide them around and also adjust them in height before you actually had to decide if you want seats that can be adjusted in height or slide them around here. You can see they are adjustable in height and you can slide them around like this and then you have this, you know, the talking position. Actually, the driver can also be the cook then directly here because of this retractable kitchen. That's, that's cool, right? <laughs> and even more functions on the iPad I want to show you. You will have this overview, like how much fresh water you have, for example. That's, I think, a cool idea. And you can also control the climate. And that's, of course, very useful because when I'm sitting down here, I could do it here, no problem. But imagine I'm up there at the secondary bed, for example, or in this case, it's the, it's the main bed, of course. Then I'm up there and it's like, ah, it's a little bit cold or something. Then it's easy to just control the temperature from the pad or maybe like the small phone you have on the top there with you. Underneath the front seats, by the way, some nice storage, also with felt cover on the Here, by the way, for the charging on the inside, USB-C, a real power socket, another one, and also another cubby hole for spices and so on. And you can also pull the sliders here to the inside. So when you have this one here down, then you can see you have all the way the side openings, also with these grids that you don't get mosquito, mosquitoes in the night and so on. Also to the other side, that's also new. You have a panoramic view and the front one here you can also completely open then once again if you still want the fresh air and the real look. And yeah, here on the top, it's actually pretty cozy and it definitely works for two tall adults as well. By the way, you also have USB-C charging here on the top. It's a little bit tricky to film it here, but here you can see even when I'm on this side, I can still stand upright here so even in that uh, kitchen area here, I could still work standing upright inside the vehicle when the roof is up. To get to the top is, by the way, the best really to step here on the seats and then climb up. And yeah, you can have them turned like this way or the other way around, doesn't matter. If you want more space again, then you can just push the whole thing up and gas struts here actually hold it open. And you can see I can fully stand in here with six for two or one wheel is 93. Here, of course, even higher in the very front. So there are two beds, of course, as always. The top one would be either the primary one or maybe when it's really cold, then it's maybe too fresh up there. And then you would use the lower one, or of course, when you're like with more than two guys. So, and then here you pull them forward for the lower bed. Then you have to pull this strap here. Then you can pull that one here all the way flat like this. And what I've also done is here I put out the head restraint and moved it backwards like this. This is also important. Then here, a little bit flatter with the other strap, like this. Next step, Thomas workout style here, live on Auto Gefühl. I fold out the lower bed like this. Here we go. So, there we go here with our lower bed. Then of course you can add some pillows yourself for this one. Um, of course, it won't be as cozy as a real bed, you know, but considering it's in a vehicle, it's actually not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Turning the seats around again is really easy. I've done it with the passenger seat. Here now, driver's seat, like this. And then, of course, I need to put it all the way back again. Nice fabric seats here, by the way. They would be the standard. Also have this bright design that it just gives you a feeling of, yeah, being cozy and also this Sunshine California mode. And this then here, the typical cockpit and just the same as in any normal T7 multivan. We have the dual clutch transmission shifting lever right here. Therefore, you save a lot of space and you can easily go from the front part to the rear part of the vehicle because there's no handbrake then uh, here and no shifting lever. The handbrake electronic one is right here. And then you have a lot of storage, for example, cup holders here in the lower part. Then also here, storage right there, for example. 
and the typical glove box is here. You also have electronic controls for the sliding doors each, like this, and these are the inside controls to put the roof up or down. Infotainment system, as we actually know from the other normal Volkswagen models, at the moment here this is the one in show mode, but you can also check out our normal T7 review to see more. This is actually just mirroring what's on the iPad, or the iPad is mirroring this, so we have the same controls right here. This one will be for seat heating, seat cooling and so on, and the temperature control here. We have also then these sliders or the volume, but you can see more of that in the normal T7 review. On the left side, steering wheel, up and down, in and out, controllable, and always real buttons at the steering wheel. For example, also to control the digital instruments right here, and also on the left side for the volume. Door opening and closing sound. That's a cool sound already when opening, right? Closing sound, also decent. As for powertrains, we can expect the very same ones for the normal T7, here also in the California version. And that would mean a 2 liter TDI, 1.5 TSI, a 2 liter TSI, and also this plug-in hybrid for the first time, a 1.4 TSI as base, and then a 10 kilowatt hour hybrid battery. And this will mean that in this version, which is the plug-in hybrid, you will have the plug-in hybrid battery, you will have the 12 volt starter battery, and the camping battery. Important technical background, 5 meters 17 or 204 inches is the length here of the T7 California because here they're using the long version of the T7. Before it was on the commercial platform and they used the short version with the T6.1. So this one here, although it's a little bit slimmer and lower, it is actually then 27 centimeters or 11 inches longer, therefore making up for that space that you have a lot also on the interior. And one very interesting thing is that Although this one here has the additional height then for this retractable roof, it actually has a better CD value than the normal T7 version. How is that possible? Because the wind with this little bit higher roof can be directed to the rear a little bit better in the rear. So it's a very interesting aerodynamic trick. So I told you that the aerodynamics are actually better here with the camper van than with the normal T7 version. That's why the fuel economy also won't be worse. Well, of course, you have to demount the marquee. It has a fast or a quick mount, actually, that you can also demount it and leave it at home when you're driving at home because, key thing is also here, this very California version here is most of the time bought by people that use this one here both as a holiday vehicle and as an everyday private vehicle. And that's why it's also important to have a quick mount that you can drive more fuel saving, maybe on trips where you're not going camping. The T7 passenger platform here also has the advantage that it's generally lower in fuel consumption than the commercial platform from the T6. And also it is more silent on the motorway, especially you now for Germans, Autobahn, higher speeds, that's an important thing. So of course there are more silent cars on the market, no doubt about that. But in our T7 normal multi-van driving review, you could also get a sense for that how it is more silent than the T6. And here we can take a comparing look at the VW T6.1, the previous generation. Wider, higher, but shorter. You can see it has the styling of the typical microbus, whereas the new one, the T7, more has this passenger car look because it's also on the passenger platform. This one here was built on the commercial platform. So this is the main difference. And let's also take a comparing look at the inside because also on the inside, it's a little bit higher and a little bit wider, but once again, a little bit shorter so that the overall interior volume is more or less the same. That's very interesting, isn't it? Also in the front cockpit, of course, so that you also get a visual impression of what the difference is. And I would like to know from you guys, which one would you prefer? Would you still go for this one maybe, buy it used, or are you more interested in the all new model? So what do you think about the T7 California? Tell me in the comments and now tune in to a normal T7 driving review or recent facelift of the Mercedes V-Class, including the Marco Polo.